Hey, what's going on today? I'm going to show you how to take regular text and turn it into 3D text of various textures um, right inside of Focus. And it's a one click, super easy, but a super useful little way of doing it. And you'll get a kick out of the last one. You'll be surprised at the type of textures that you can use for these 3D lettering. All right, so let's get started. So under the style tab, we're gonna leave V2, enhance and uh, sharp checked, and we're gonna add uh, hyper realism. You can experiment with some different styles afterwards here, but for mine, I'm gonna use the hyper realism, but there's a lot of, a lot of styles on here that'll give you some pretty cool results. And then we are gonna go over to the image prompt tab, and we're going to drop um, the text that we created into the top two boxes here. We're going to open up the advanced settings and set the left side to face swap and the right side to Pyrocani. And we're going to turn that up to around 0.7 on the Pyrocani and on the uh, stop at. I'm going to go with a uh, basic prompt for the first one here. We're just going to go with solid gold and we put the lettering in quotation marks. Um, AI a lot of times has trouble with lettering. The quotation marks tells it that that's what you're looking for. Um, so we're going to do that. We're going to, I'm going to drop my image number just down to one. And I'm going to set mine at 1344 by 704 just for a, a pretty common size. And we're going to go ahead and run that. So you can see we got us a pretty cool 3D lettering here and it looks like it's made out of gold. Um, let's go ahead and try that. We're going to change that to black background. We're going to add that to the prompt. So you can see now that this came up, not exactly what we were looking for because uh, the, the top lettering here is black with gold trim. But we'll just run that again. That's the thing with AI. Sometimes you have to run it more than once. And now you notice we got, you know, exactly what we were looking for, uh, gold lettering on a black background. So let's try it if we change the prompt to solid glass and see what we get. See, the solid glass looks really cool. You could add frosted to that and get, um, you know, not such a clear look to it. Um, how about if we change that to blue glowing glass? Yeah, that looks pretty good, but we could run that, you know, another time or two and probably get rid of that reflection in the middle. But you see the point here now the glass is glowing blue. And now I'm going to just show you another example here. We'll switch it over and, and put in candy apple red. Now this time we're going to add the, uh, the tag 3D into our prompt line here. And this will actually thicken up the edges a little bit if that's more what you're looking for. And you can see now that the edges of the lettering look nice and thick and it looks like it's you know standing up off the the page a little bit better and just one for a little bit of fun here you can come up with some wild things that you can texture this with we're gonna try this one last time here before we end the video we're gonna put it on marshmallow and see what that does And you can see here that even Marshmallow came out really cool. So it's endless the things you can do here to create uh, three-dimensional text within Focus and super simple. So anyway, um, if you uh, have any ideas on how we can do this better, let us know in the comments. I'd love it if you liked and subscribed, and we will see you in the next one.